Every so often over the years, I am asked by people in one way or another, is it really important to be a part of the church or a church? Can't I just do my discipleship thing um, one on one with God? There are different reasons this question is asked, but I think one of the reasons it is asked is that what most people have discovered, if they've been part of a church for any period of time, is that one of the most demanding things about being part of a church is being part of a church. It's about dealing with the other people in the church. And wouldn't it be nice if I could just go off on a Sunday morning and wander around in the woods by myself? Why do I have to deal with the messiness of community? Well, Christianity is a, a communal religion. Yes, there is a personal dimension. Yes, I get up in the morning and I sit down with God and God and I have it out. I bring my needs to God. God brings God's needs to me. And, you know, Roger and God have this personal dimension. But all that's done in the context of a community of people. And what I've learned over the years is the great gift and the great demand of a church is the other people in the church. The great gift, of course, we, we, we also know, don't we? We know that most of us just simply can't go this journey alone. I, I, I can see why people don't believe in God, but I can't see how people do it without a community of people who have been commanded to love them. My, my life would not have been sustained. That's a great gift, but it's also a great demand because, you know, in John's gospel, Jesus says to the disciples, you didn't choose me, I chose you. So every church is made up of people that Jesus chose. We didn't choose them. And Jesus has this way, I've just found out, he has this way of sending to a church community people that he knows will be difficult to love. And they need love. And so we wake up and realize that this community we're a part of is often challenging to love. But think about this. What does this world need the most? It needs a community of people that show the world that what holds us together is not uniformity or convenience. That in this partisan world, guess what? Here is a community made up of liberals and conservatives, Republicans and Democrats, people who supported Trump and people who didn't, people who have very set views on theological matters and people who don't. And all of that is held together by the Spirit of God. When I look out on a Sunday morning, and of course I haven't done that in some time, but when I look out on a Sunday morning, and see the group of people that God has brought together, I think that is a miracle. That is the miracle of the Spirit of God bringing into being a communion of people. That's a witness. The other thing that happens in a community like that is God expands our capacity to love by bringing us people that aren't easy for us to love. As Jesus says, you know, what good is it to love those who love you? That's easy stuff. I'm going to bring you some people who are a real challenge. Brothers and sisters, let's keep at it. People don't leave a church over doctrinal matters. People leave church because they can't deal with the people. We've been given a love that's big enough to deal with whomever God sends into our community. And they've been given the capacity to love even the likes of us. How about that? See you down the road.